ever get a Brazilian butt lift? Maybe would, for content. Would me or Schlatt get a Brazilian? Yes. I think that would be mm-hmm. a great fucking I wouldn't, fucking but video. I imagine Tucker might. You seen that guy on Can TikTok you? who's got the big butt? Yes, yeah. but I think yes. that's fake. That is definitely an implant. Yeah. Oh, oh. it's an implant? No, I, like a like a he just kind of puts them in his pants, yes. you know? I think he's made a video showing the actual thing and it was like Oh, a, yeah, the, the guy that yeah. runs everywhere? Yeah, yeah. The oh, guy that's that runs. totally. He's always yeah, got like a security yeah. team with him in those videos. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, he's he's yeah. totally it's totally just a costume. But what if you did that? I have considered No. <laughs> You Don't. didn't let me finish. You I know, didn't let me finish what I was going to say. To start with that is such a strong open, you know, <laughs> when talking about a Brazilian butt lift or an implant in your ass. I'm not talking about start, a Brazilian butt lift. I know, I'm not but, talking this, about, but that's I'm what we're talking about. talking about. So for you to ass, say, I have <laughs> considered is a tough open. It has to do with body modification. Okay. Right. I have considered yes. more than once. Filming, you know, a shit ton of videos in advance and then working on them over the course of maybe like six months. So there's a drip feed of videos from when I filmed them back at the oh, beginning of I the year. I think you've told me about this. I've definitely told you about this. And then the second I'm done filming all those videos, I start putting steroids in my ass, <laughs> like anabolic steroids. And then okay. for the next three, four months... I'm just living in the gym and I will I will blow up like a balloon. I will get in, insanely shredded. And then once the videos run out, I'm just back. The audience thinks nothing happened, but all of a sudden I'm just huge. Yeah. Just like out of nowhere, I'm just absolutely yoked. I think that'd be fucking hilarious. They're like, what the fuck happened in a week? That would be amazing. Because yeah. they're still You'd seeing turn the into shit Peter from a year Griffin, ago. though, when he went on steroids, though. Or Stewie, when he flew. No, it was Peter who went on steroids. I think steroids. at one point, everybody in the show was jacked. There was an episode where Stewie <laughs> was jacked. There was an episode where yeah. Brian was jacked. Yeah, that's true. Well, it, all right. So I, 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 the big thing where I think about this idea where it kind of like, it's kind of like iffy, you know, is that steroids are harmful in mm-hmm. the long term. Yeah. But if I just do one round of them, you know, I just do one cycle and I get really big just for, just for a joke, you know, it would be yeah. such a good bit and no one's ever done it before. Tucker, is, we're going to need some information on these steroids. Yeah, here. I got a guy I can, if you want to come after this, yeah, I have a guy who can help you. Tucker, my cock you already steroids? doesn't work. No, it, I it don't already do steroids, can't get hard. So like, I don't see the names. problems. Well, what's the, what's the disadvantages of doing steroids? I know that there are plenty, but uh, I don't know can, what they can, are. You can schwack your testosterone up. It's very hard on your organs. So you can't really be drinking and, and doing stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I already put a beating on, on my body. I mean, it's been carrying 100 pounds extra weight for like a yeah. couple of years now. You're not a heavy guy. You're not a, a, a rotund person. I gained probably 70 pounds since COVID started. But I think I also turned 21 around that time. And yep. so I don't know if it was the COVID or I don't know if it was my incessant daily drinking. Right. Might have been it. the latter. That'll Might have been it. the latter. Sitting yeah. around all day and drinking will definitely make it big. I've yeah. finally gotten back in shape like mm. to where I was before COVID. I'm I'm hitting I remember that seeing last your in, your Twitter post where you posted a photo of you looking hot and yeah. you were like you were Pretty like COVID. it was you at 30 and you were like I'm looking to get back to this point. I remember seeing yep. that post. And yep. so you you feel like you you've done it? Uh, I'm I'm starting to get a little well, look at you. cranked Woo! again. Yeah, wow. I'm, Shit. I'm I'm entering the last phase where it's like cutting down again because um, you put the yeah. size on and then it's like you strip away the the gunk. So you you work out for two hours a day. I do. That's oh, in, that's shit. wild to me. Really, Tucker? You also work out for a similar amount. Yeah, usually like like an hour, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. God, it's just wild to me. Like, I feel like I give myself so many excuses to just not put that in my schedule that it just the two, one or two hours just sounds like an insane amount of time to be working out for. Yeah. Well, but it's not. You get hooked I mean, on like, it and then you fit everything else in your schedule around it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Me, Ted, you and me, we've got two hours a day, probably. We do. We do. We always we do. do. We, we do. All, we do. Have, of any sort of person doing any sort of job in the entire world, we have the most opportunity to go to the gym than, than anyone. I have a huge advantage, though, in that I I love working out. It's my favorite part of the day. It's really? like a meditative thing for me. I listen to mm. music. I watch what I want. It's like silent. 
You know what I mean? I, I enjoy that period of my day more than any other period of my day. So that's a huge advantage. But I think if, if you're not one of those people who enjoy working out, I think you should just get a trainer. Like there's such an advantage in someone just telling you to be like, do that. And then you mm, just do, yeah. you know, do what they say. How did you get into working out initially? Uh, my dad thought I was a fat kid and he gave me a gym membership for Christmas when I was 11 and I started going. Oh. Damn. Damn. You're still working out at a, at a public gym? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. I was a member at like the bougie gym in Los Angeles. Yeah. Equinox. And I fucking hated Ooh. it. I needed to be back where the metal was. I needed to be back where there was like <laughs> palpable testosterone in the air. Yeah. And weights yeah. were slamming and a dude had his shirt off. You know what I mean? Like, smell fear. <laughs> So you yeah, said something I, interesting there. I, I fucked with that way more. Because I the other gym, Equinox, it's gorgeous. It's really nice. But like you have like influencers like on their phone, like recording yeah. a set. Mm -hmm. and, and then like, they get pissed at you when you like walk by. They're yes. like, dude, that was yep. for the that was for the gram, man. Yep. Or or like the other thing you get at really nice gyms is people doing these insane circuits where they're using like eight different pieces of equipment at the same time. And you're like, okay, dude. Come on, man. And it was just always packed and people were moving so slow and no one's actually sweating. I like that fucking dirty gym. You like to smell blood and salt. They also have better equipment. I feel like really nice gyms have a lot of really good cardio equipment, which is who, who the fuck needs that? Just run. Just get on a treadmill and fucking run. But like they don't have like the heavy hitting, I'm going to develop my fucking lats, weird like torture rack type. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like just these archaic stretching racks and fucking, you know what I mean? That like I a medieval torture machine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you need those. And that's like what really gives you the bomb. I pay $27 a month. Is that Anytime Fitness? What is it that? Is, or is LA Fitness? It's LA Fitness. Yeah, that's what I was looking to go to next from mm -hmm. what I have now. Because it's like, it I don't, because I don't, because I'm fucking, I'm like, I was going to it and I was like, it's nice, but like, I don't fucking need it. It's also expensive. And it's like, Teddy, I'll bring you in. And then that way you and Schlack honestly, can, can that is something I would like. I need, at the I, same think, time. <laughs> I think the biggest thing that I need is I need, I need some, some peeps to go with just you, yeah. someone yeah. To, to show up with someone else. I feel like is so important mm -hmm. um, that it's like, we're, you know, we're going uh, next who, week. Who are you? Well, yeah, I got to get you that little guest pass. Do thing. it. We're we're going every day. I'm out there. Yeah, you got to order some. Um, you someone you gotta, to keep you honest, man. That's good. You got to order some creatine exactly. too. <laughs> some Ooh. no explode. Some of the Cold Stone Creamery protein powder. You will get so yoinked if you do that. Yoinked in a good way or a bad way? Yeah, big. Have you ever done pre workouts? I've tried a pre workout, like, but it's it's just like one of those ones that's like caffeine, and I'm like, yeah, this I, this is this doesn't boomer, even this doesn't even hit this hits barely as hard as my fucking ADHD medicine does in an eighth form. That's right. As a boomer, as a guy who remembers the telegraph, let me say, pre workouts used to be way better. Okay, that really? old shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's not the you, same if your hands aren't fucking. Yeah, you used to feel like there dude, were bugs there was under coke your in them. Skin. Is what he's trying to say. There's co <laughs> there was coke in the pre workout. You oh dude, so many of them got banned. So many of them got banned by the the Food and Drug Administration. Like they would they would release them and you could buy them before. Like there was one called Muscle Marinade at one point, oh. and it was like you took it. Fuck. And it was it was like pulling the pin on a grenade. You had 30 minutes to be in a gym working out or you were shitting your brains out. <laughs> you, just <laughs> sit, like, oh. you would fucking take that shit and you just, you, you know. Dude, explosive. honestly, that's kind of how Tucker described his pre-workout experience to me, though, when he was still in the Marines. Like, he'd be like, he'd be like dude, I'm taking this pre-workout. And if I'm not, if I, in the next 20 minutes, if I'm not in a gym, I'm going to, I'm feeling like I Die. need a punch. Yeah. Yeah, that. And we used to. It was good stuff. What'd you take? <laughs> uh, I don't. Back then, I don't know. I was just going with my buddies because I was just getting into hitting the gym, and I would just take whatever they handed me. <laughs> oh shit! Do you ever? Do you ever take any rip fuel? I don't know. I know they had. Okay. I know rip that fuel. they have that in the Marines, and it's basically rip fuel and muscle marinade. Yeah. Jesus. Oh yeah, baby. God, I gotta start working out, man. Oh, or I, you just got to get into the business of naming them because it you seems like they'll take it anything. The most, as as a partially grunty guy, 
It Ugh. really, it re- it'll take you to the next level. I have a home gym. I, I'm, I'm get, don't go to your home gym. Well, I'm at the point, man, where I would feel very like insanely conscious about who's around me in a gym because in Austin, everyone knows I'm there. Mm. And a lot of the gyms, like a lot of young kids. Mm. And so unless I went to anytime fitness at like 3 a.m., which is something I used to do, I would be very nervous and like, fuck, who's watching me type type things. I went to a restaurant the other night. I got two steps in the door. I took two two photos with two of the workers. Like really? It, yeah, man. And so as much as I want to be out you don't and doing like that, stuff. Huh? No, no. I mean, I, I like attention. But when it gets in the way of like something I'm I'm actually trying to do, like yeah. Ted, when you were trying to walk through the convention center, it gets a little right. Like yeah, no, that a was uh, that that kind of sucked a little bit. It's weird. It's it's like a it's a double. I mean, it is literally a double sided sword. Yeah. It is the definition of a double sided sword because it's like the reason it's happening is as a result of your success, and you know, and I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but sometimes when you're really, when you're late for something or you're trying to make something, that's when it, it hits, it hits different where you're like, oh, oh, I have to keep moving, but you're so nice. And I don't want to fucking, I don't know. I feel like you de- deal with it in a different way though, Schlatt. I feel like you're like, <clears throat> and then they're like, uh, oh, I'm, I'm a grunt guy. Yeah. That's what I do when I walk. Uh, are you Schlatt? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, huh, take their phone. Tr- just there really back. is a, a we, difference in how people approach you, though. You know what I mean? There's some people that approach you, and you're just like, oh, man, you're so sweet and polite. And then there are other people, and you're like, oh. That's been fun. Yeah. And those people will probably be at the gym <laughs> recording me doing, like, one plate on the bench press. Ah! 